How's it going, folks? Hope you're having a good day today. Once again, I'm going to be playing another ROM hack. This one is called Mario is Missing Done Right. And it's a hack of Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. It is by Gamma V, and it was released on the 23rd of July, 2017. And so what this game is, it says, what if Mario is Missing weren't a boring edutainment title? Yeah, that game really sucks. Says this hack intends to do what most players expected Mario is missing to be a platformer starring Luigi on a quest to save Mario. The hack contains seven worlds and is comparable in difficulty to official Mario games. It sounds great. There's been a few user reviews, they all recommend it. So let's give this thing a shot, shall we? Let me get it switched over here. And boom. So we'll go ahead and hit restart, fire this puppy up. And off we go, Gamma V presents. Mario is missing, done right. It already looks awesome. Just that title screen is cool. So we'll start up a new game. This is a blind play here. I've never played this game before. It says, oh no, Bowser set another cataclysmic trap and Mario fell right in. It's up to Luigi to save the day now. Okay, hitting the buttons. How do I progress past this? There we go. Oh, cool. That overall is nice. Nice little music going on. 1-1. One -one. Here we go. Green Goomba Hills. Sounds good. Okay. Looks nice. Handles well. It handles a little bit faster, it feels like, than the original Super Mario World game. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. A. I wonder if there's going to be, like, alphabet ones. A, B, C, and all that. Okay, smash those Goombas. The game does look pretty nice. And for those wondering, I am using the Retro Arch emulator. That one said A as well, so okay. Down in the bottom right, it says two coins. I'm guessing those big ones are what, that was, what that's all about. Anyways, I'm using the Retro Arch emulator. I'm using the uh, SNES 9X. Look at that new enemy. I'm using that core, the SNES 9X core. I'm using the Pixelate, um, I believe it's called Scaler, whatever it is that, uh, shader, not Scaler, it's the shader. Okay, nice little underground part, I like the music. This is really well designed. Didn't I already hit those? I guess so. Oh, look at that, the little Luigi flagpole here. Nice, same little sound effect. Okay, firepower Luigi. Okay, boom. Go in here, nope, nope. Another A. Let's see if that changes to four. It did. I'm not sure what the significance of those are. If there's going to be more than A, if they're going to be B and C's at some point. There we go. We still have the little spin jump, which is nice when you have the fire power up, fire plant power, fire flower, whatever you call it. You can shoot in both directions pretty much simultaneously. Okay. Get out of here, Goomba. Another A. Do, 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 do. Okay, can't go down that. I gotta hear Koopas. Okay, here's the main flagpole. That's kind of nice. Ba -ba 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 -ba. He gets all happy jumping around, then he walks off the screen. Very nice. Very nicely made so far. It's ROM hack, I must say. Okay, on uh, level 1 2. New Koopas on the block. Boo -boo -boo. So yeah, I don't know about you guys, but Super Mario World is right on up there with one of my favorite games of all time. I know I said that in the video with um, Super Mario 3 for the NES. And that one is as well, though. Mario is some of my all-time favorite games for sure. And I grew up on the, the first one and the third one on the NES. I played the second one. We had it growing up. I did, uh, some people love that. It's like with their favorite one. I just never could get into it. I know it's really not supposed to be a Mario game. It's supposed to be a Doki Doki Panic or whatever in Japan. Just with some, you know, swapped out sprites and a few different changes here and there. But I don't know. I just, I, I never could get into that game as much as Mario 1 and 3. And then I remember when Super Mario World came out. Whew, I was excited for that thing. I played it in the little demo unit they had at Walmart. And I just immediately fell in love with the game. 
There's a key. Let me hit these. So anytime I can play a hack of it that is supposed to be more like a almost like a continuation, I'm all about it. Let's do it. I never really have played one of them all the way through. Oh, cool. So that was the secret exit. They've got those built in too. I almost forgot about that. I didn't know if they've implemented into this hack, but they have implemented their own secret exits, which is nice. Very nice. Alright, let's see. Go ahead and get that. Get out of here, moles. So yeah, you guys leave a comment if you want to, and uh, tell me if you've ever found any Super Mario World hacks that you really enjoy. I've only played a handful of them, and I plan on playing quite a few more in the in the future. Um, but yeah, what are some of you guys' favorite hacks too? Whether it's Mario or something else, I want to know what some of the best hacks are out there. Seems like Mario is definitely the most popular game series to make hacks out of. And it's understandable, it's a 2D game, 2D platformers are a little bit easier to, to work with than some games. Boom. I like how the backgrounds are moving independently kind of of the foreground. I mean that's just a nice touch for a user made hack here. Very colorful, just like the original Super Mario game, Super Mario World and all that games. Really enjoying this so far. Yeah, it's definitely not hard, at least as of now, but I've mentioned in other hack videos. I prefer to play a little bit easier, fun Mario games than hard, challenging, you spend an hour beating one level trying to figure out every little place you can jump and can't, so I enjoy these. Alright, so that's 1-2, beaten through the normal route. Let's go to 1-2, it's like a cave one. Easy going underground. Okay. I like how the, I think the music is, is like remixed. It's similar to the, oh man, but look at this, I got rewind. One awesome feature of using the good emulator is having the rewind function. Some people say it's cheating. But hey, I'm just playing games like this. I just want to get through it, just play it, and have some fun, experience it. I don't care. I don't care to use it. It doesn't bother me none. Alright, can't go down any of those pipes. I like how they have the lights in here to make it more realistic as if, um, you know, the original games, they didn't have lights down here and yet the, the, the caves were still lit up somehow. I know some of them implemented a Thing where the caves were dark, some of the levels, and you had to you had to light it up with uh, some superpowers or something. It's been a while. I know you could throw fireballs and light it up. And there's some kind of lanterns or something maybe too. Can't go through there, so that's an exit pipe. I'm assuming. Can I go back down this way so I can see what I'm doing here? Can't go down there. Yeah, this is really well designed. So so far it's a little bit on the easy side. That's okay. Do, 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 do. Can't go down there either. Let's go ahead and hit this real quick. Okay, continue on here. Can I go down there? Nope. Oop. Okay. So I guess in this game, yeah, Mario is supposed to be missing. Luigi's out trying to find him, so he's got to go through all these new levels. And hope say he'll Mario will show up somewhere. Okay, I'll climb on up the vine here. Another A. I wonder what those A's are for. Maybe just for one-ups. I don't even remember exactly what they're for in the original Super Mario World. I think it's just for, for points. Maybe some extra one-ups or something. I don't think it's anything fancy. I'm not trying to collect them per se like in, you are in some of the other Mario games where you collect the big coins and all that. Like, you know, there's usually three big hidden coins somewhere. Okay, so there we go. Got that level. Is that World 1-3? Yep. Got that one defeated. So let's just go ahead and go into the item hut and see what that's all about. Toad's hut. Okay. Hi, Luigi. Take whatever you find here. I'm sure it'll help you save Mario. Well, thanks, pal. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing? 
did you just troll me? What the heck? That seems weird. Okay, one dash four. Whatever. Sunset Shroom Garden. I like that music. That's definitely a new song. That's nothing in the original game. I like it whenever they put in so much effort that they come up with their own music or remixes to the original ones. That's fine too. It requires a lot of work to do that instead of just recycling the original music. I like it a lot. Okay. I like the color palette they used on this level as well. Alright. Come on. Uh oh, rewind. Pump. Alright, let's try to get down here. There we go, that worked. And fall, okay. So yeah, there's nothing too crazy about these. It's just pretty linear in terms of you just have one little route you can take throughout most of this game, but like I said, that's okay. I'm not looking for... I wasn't expecting it to be some crazy... Whew, some crazy drawn out multi-path levels. It's just designed really solidly though. I like that, that about it. Gotta respect that. I wonder how they came up with music like this. Like, is this an actual Mario song in some other game, perhaps? I don't recall ever hearing it, but it does. It fits right in. The Mario theme, there we go. That level has been beaten. I wonder why there's some extra platforms up here past the, the goal screen, the goal post. I don't know. Okay, we unlocked the normal path over here to 1-5, so let's go to it. Shroom Top Scamper. Okay, another... Oh no, this isn't a new song. This is a remix from... Oh, what game is that? It's a different Mario game. I definitely recognize it, I just can't place it. Can't put my finger on it. I like this level though. I like the background where there's more platforms just out in the distance. Whew, that was lucky. Probably should have fallen there. Okay, what do we got? Any Yoshi? I was hoping Yoshi would appear. I don't know if he's actually in this game or not, though, to be honest. This level is definitely harder than the, the first few, so I actually I like that about it. That's how most Mario games are. They do get harder as you go along. And we're still in World 1, so they could get way harder as you get through the higher up levels. Okay, let's hit this. Oh, there's the key. How do I get down there, though? Does this let me fall through? I think so. No, it doesn't. Interesting. I'm not sure. Let me try to do try to time that jump just right, perhaps. There we go. There we go. Didn't have to use rewind. Okay, what's that gonna open up? Okay, an extra, oh nice, yellow switch. Let's go in there. Collect the coins, let's see if it's similar to the original. Kinda. Okay, why am I doing this though? What's up with collecting these coins? Do you have to collect them all in order to win or is it just like an extra bonus? You get a bunch of coins. Maybe once you get to a certain amount, it just puts you on through here. Okay, Switch Palace. The power of the switch you have pushed will turn those blocks into solid blocks. The yellow one. Sweet. Okay, so let's continue on through to the next level. Boom, 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 boom. I always like that little animation in the original game. Okay, so we got 1-5 and then we have a castle. So we got Shroom Top Scamper. Yeah, that's right. I was thinking it was a different level. It's the same level, just gotta do the normal finish now. Since I did the secret exit, I'm just gonna... Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, the momentum carried me on that one. I'm just gonna kinda go through here. The parts I've already played, I'm not gonna try to collect every little thing like I typically would. 
Okay. Pow, pow. Got him. All right, so here's where we left off and went last time. We'll continue on through here. The little check mark flag. Okay. Hmm. I do want to get that A. Not going to be hard to do. I just got to wait for it to come back around. All right, I imagine we're getting pretty close to the end here. Okay, get rid of those guys. Let's see, can we do that? Yep, there we go. Boo -boo -boo. Nice. Oh, I won't let you jump over it. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so there we go. We got the normal route finished on this level. It should open up the castle now, I would imagine. Nice. So, one dash fortress. First time fortress is what it's called. Okay, another remix of the fortress themes. This sounds pretty cool so far. I ain't falling for that little fireball. Whoa. Gotta watch out for that thing. Alright. I do wonder if there are... Whew, when they're going to introduce some more power-ups. It seems like it's just been the fire so far. Unless I'm just totally spacing out. Forgetting about a different one that I've gotten so far. I think the fire plant. Fire flower, whatever it's called. It's the only one I've seen so far. That's okay, it's a good power-up. Very good. Classic Mario power-up. Okay. Du -du -du. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Just kind of taking my time here so I don't run into anything. Even with Rewind, I, I could go faster since I have Rewind, but... Go in there. Hmm, how do I go in? This is weird. I'm hitting up. I don't know what made him go in, to be honest. That was weird. All right, come on, buddy. Got him. Two more times, probably. Boom. There we go. There we go. Got that first castle cleared. Let's just see what happens here. That's probably going to be all I'll play today on this pretty fun hack here. This uh, Mario is missing done right. I got to agree with him so far. It is done right from what I've played. Maybe I'll pick this up again some other time. Maybe I'll even do a live stream playing through a lot of it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Should I keep doing these uh, ROM hack videos? I enjoy them. Kind of something fresh on something old. It's fun. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.